Hello and welcome to another packing video with Adventures with Sarah. I'm Sarah. Today my, I'm assisted by my parents' cat. This is Mischief, who is uh, guarding all of the things I bought on my last trip quite well. Um, and my cameraman today is my dad. Hey, dad. Hello. <laughs> so everybody was wondering about uh, how I traveled to Egypt and Jordan for over two weeks with just this little tiny backpack. This is a backpack from a company called G2 Free. Uh, I got it off of Amazon and it cost me $20. Now, why did I pack a backpack like this rather than my nice Cotopaxi or Tom Bin backpacks, which cost probably 10 times more than this? Well, because I was only going for two weeks and I'm always trying to lighten my load. So <clears throat> by having this really light and small backpack, I was forced to keep my bag to a really minimal weight. Uh, it's light enough, even fully packed for two weeks, that I can easily lift it over my head. And as I often tell people, you really, really need to be able to do that, to lift your bag over your head on your own force, because that's how you put it into the overhead compartment on the airplane. Uh, so let's have a quick look at what's inside. Also, what else I took with me. Uh, on the plane itself, I wore a packable down coat. This is from Eddie Bauer, and it packs into its own little ball into one of its pockets. And I just attached it to the bottom of my backpack when I wasn't using it. Uh, a pair of really soft pants. These are from Athleta and they're, I think they're called the studio pants. So comfortable, it's like wearing pajamas. And then a really soft white um, cashmere sweater. That's what I wore on the plane. It was super comfortable. And then I always recommend, for women at least, to bring a really big scarf. This came in handy in so many different ways. Uh, just on the plane, I could wrap it around my neck just to stay extra warm. Actually, on the plane home, I took the airplane pillow and blanket and I wrapped it up in this and I created a nice soft pillow for myself. I used it as a picnic blanket while I was gone. Uh, I used it as a wrap when I went into a swimming pool. So you can do lots of things with a really big, super lightweight cotton scarf. So this one is pretty huge and millions and millions of uh, choices, plus a, a black and white pattern, which goes with just about everything. And then this is my day bag, so I'll unpack that as well. <clears throat> so let's have a look at what's inside. So I like the compartments on this backpack. Uh, like I said, it's a super inexpensive one, so obviously not as well designed as some of the other ones I carry, but the base bag itself weighs a, less than a pound. And consider that when you have one of these really nice expensive backpacks, the backpack itself can weigh up to three or four pounds. Right there, by using a cheaper lightweight one, you've already saved a bunch of weight. So we have a big uh, zip pocket here, and actually this pocket, once you empty the whole backpack, it folds into itself in this front little pocket here. <clears throat> but let's see what I keep in it. In here, I keep my toiletries kit and my toothbrush. This is my new find for the fall of this year. Uh, it's actually the best travel toothbrush I've ever used. It is a Sonicare. I use a Sonicare at home. Sonicare finally made a good travel toothbrush. In the past, they had ones that weighed a ton that were too bulky. This one takes a single AA battery and that AA battery can last up to three months. So I'm really, really happy with this. It's closer to a real Sonicare than any other travel toothbrush. Uh, and you can find this at Target. You can also find it on Amazon and I'll put a link in the comments about that. Uh, I also have a pouch. This is one of my Tom Bin pouches for all of my jewelry. So this is where I keep kind of colorful necklaces and earrings and things. And if you like jewelry, I always recommend bringing a couple of things just to spice up your outfits that might get kind of boring if you keep wearing the same thing. Inside my toiletries kit, this is my typical toiletries kit. This is from Tom Bin. I've had this at least 10 years and I keep using it because it's just the best one. This is a 311 size kit, but what's great about it is that it also has a hook so I can hang it in the bathroom. And inside I've got the typical stuff. I've got my toothpaste, three ounces. This is a little trick you can do. Go to the toothpaste department at Target and look and see which toothpaste has exactly three ounces because that's the one you can put into your carry-on. So it's a standard size toothpaste bottle, but you have to be careful about looking for that. Uh, my favorite lipstick, which of course is uh, Revlon Color State over time, lasts for a whole day. Uh, a nice face cream, bought that in Italy. Uh, I really am happy about Thrive Cosmetics. This is uh, their liquid uh, mascara. Really works super well and lasts a long time, but it also does its smudge all over your face. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with their products. And then I also got an eye pencil, which is, you can do lots of things with. You can put it on your eyes. You can, you want sparkles somewhere to kind of spice up your, your face a little bit. 
This is a paste deodorant. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name. I bought it in London years ago, but a lot of people um, have other options. So I'll look into uh, paste deodorant options for you, but this is enough deodorant. This has lasted me for over a year, this little tiny tub. So this is a great way to reduce the size of your toiletries kit. Uh, and then of course I use uh, this face powder as usual, Bare Minerals, which also acts as a um, sunscreen. And then I have my uh, two tubes of conditioner and shampoo. And these are really cool. They're from a, a company called Kitsch. I got them on Amazon and they're uh, perfect for a 311 container, but you see they're like little bags. So when you're almost done, like I just got back from my trip, they're flat. So they start out a little bit fatter, but as you use them, they get smaller and smaller and take up less and less space. They also weigh almost nothing to start with. So these are my favorite bottles uh, that I use at the moment. So that's what's in this toiletries kit. So let's move on to the other pockets. Uh, so in this pocket here, just a little front flat pocket, I have just random little things for the airplane, like my face mask. I have contacts in here, just kind of uh, random goodies that I want to stick in there. I also was putting my passport in here as I was walking through customs and things. Uh, and then in the main compartment, we have, of course, my full-size down pillow. This is a standard size pillow that I bought. Uh, I think I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond, but look for the cheapest down pillow you can find uh, because it has less fill in it. So if you get a super cheap one, I think this might have been $25. Uh, it just squishes up to less. Plus, on top of it, I have a mulberry silk pillowcase. I really like this because it's supposed to be better for your face to sleep on silk, but it weighs nothing and you get a double bonus, which is that this silk pillowcase, you can unzip, take out the pillow, and then use it as a laundry sack, which I do on every trip. This is not just my pillowcase, but also my laundry sack. And then you just have the laundromat wash the pillowcase as well. So I don't go anywhere without my own pillow because I just don't sleep well without it, but it weighs almost nothing. And as you can see, it looks poofy now, but if you really squish it down, it's not that big. So this for me is worth the space and the weight just for my own mental health. Uh, so what else is in this bag then? So inside this same compartment where I had the pillow is the main compartment with my clothes. This is a bag from Tom Bin, and I really love this packing cube. Some people like to do individual packing cubes for tops and pants and socks and things like this. This is a double-sided one. The idea behind it is should be that on this side you put your clothes that, uh, that are nice and clean, and then in the back you should put the dirty clothes. It's sort of supposed to be like a clean and dirty bag. I use it differently though. I put my rolled clothes on the top, and on the bottom I put my folded clothes. So for a trip to Egypt and Jordan for two weeks, uh, Egypt and Jordan can be both hot and cold because I went in November. Uh, Egypt was hot on certain days and actually quite cold in Jordan at the end of the trip. So what do I have inside? Well, I decided layers were the best um, thing to pack. So uh, what I have is mostly short sleeve things. I had this uh, shirt in there, which is an ultralight merino uh, knit, sweat, knit shirt. Uh, it just feels like a regular t-shirt, but it's made with merino wool. So two things that are great about merino wool. Number one, they're thin and light and very warm. But number two, they don't get stinky. And in fact, you're not supposed to wash them a lot. You're supposed to hand wash them just occasionally. And well, yeah, I think it works. I mean, you can't smell through the phone, but I'm thinking that it works pretty well. So look for these merino wool sweatshirt or uh, shirts. You can get them from a bunch of different companies like Icebreaker, REI. This one I think is just from Amazon, but really a good investment. In here, I've got my typical stuff. Obviously I like Eileen Fisher, that's my favorite brand. Here's a hot tip. <clears throat> I got this Eileen Fisher shirt. It's a very expensive brand typically. I got it from ThreadUp. ThreadUp is a used clothing shop online, and I think I paid maybe 15, 20 bucks for it. So this is just a light tank top. It weighs nothing. It's 100% silk. This is why I go kind of dumpster diving on ThreadUp, because you can find 100% silk things that are ultra light, and they don't cost you a lot. And I, I like it when it doesn't cost me a lot, because if I lose it or ruin it, I won't be upset. This weighs, I would say, about an ounce. Now to compare, a typical t-shirt weighs between five and eight ounces. So in the same space of one t-shirt, I could have five silk tops. So that's why a lot of these things are silk. This is also a silk top. This is from Quince and it's really super light. And actually these were originally pajamas, but I've repurposed them 
into just a regular top. Uh, then a nice white shirt, which I know is kind of crazy, uh, but white with a cap sleeve. And something just to kind of know about traveling in Islamic countries, sleeveless stuff mm, is a little iffy. Having at least a little short sleeve or even a three quarter sleeve is probably better just for being modest, it's better to do that. So this is a t-shirt that just has the little cap sleeve, which works well. Another uh, shirt from Eileen Fisher. This one is, I think, flax and linen, which means it's very light, but it also is can be warm on uh, cold days and cold on hot days. So kind of good shape. Um, another Eileen Fisher silk top, short sleeve, comfortable. And, and I love these natural fibers because they're uh, temperature regulating. So look into silk. Like I said, this was another one from the Renew store, so it didn't cost me very much money. Uh, and then we have just a nice simple black t-shirt. Now this isn't a regular t-shirt, it's a t-shirt that has a little bit of a drape and a little bit more of a box shape, which I think looks a little nicer than just a regular t-shirt. But a staple black shirt like this, short sleeve black t-shirt, is a really good idea because it goes with everything. You, can, you really can't lose uh, with a simple top like that. And then one of my favorite things, this is a little poncho sort of thing. It, it can make anything look elegant. So if I put on that black t-shirt and I put this over the top, you suddenly take something really simple and it looks a little bit fancy. So I wear this over the top of sleeveless dresses. Uh, traveling around Egypt, anytime that I felt like I needed to be a little bit more modest, I kept this in my bag and I could put this over the top of sleeveless clothes. Uh, and it really works well for that kind of situation. In the bottom half, these are all my folded clothes. So in here, I flat fold everything carefully and it stays pretty uh, wrinkle free. So I've got a vest that's made of silk. So it's really simple, but lightweight and warm for all that layering. This is a sleeveless dress, uh, just a really simple black sleeveless dress, comfortable, basic, and you can dress it up with uh, those little ponchos. You can put a jacket over the top, a million things you can do with a nice simple black dress. These are my two favorite Eileen Fisher staples. Um, they are both the same thing. They are a jogger pant, so they're, uh, but they're made of silk. Both of these pairs of pants are made of silk. Now pants, that's the place you waste the most weight because pants typically are made of canvas or cotton or you know fabrics that weigh an awful lot. These silk pants weigh nothing. I can get three pairs of silk pants in for the same weight as just a canvas pair of pants. A pair of jeans can weigh up to a pound and a half these come in at about five ounces, which is the same weight as a t-shirt. So if you can find silk pants and you like wearing them, I highly recommend them. They work extremely well. Uh, a pair of neutral gray pants with a little stripe just to be a little spicy. These I think are linen. So um, linen is a great fabric to travel in hot climates because it keeps you really cool. So I always try to put linen in when I'm going to a warm climate. Um, a light jacket. This is again from Thread Up. This was a, a thrift store find. It's made of silk and it's again, just all about the layering. So I can take that black dress and put it over that. I can put it over the black t-shirt. So really I have about, you know, 400 different outfits if I were to combine these things in different ways. This is another one of those ponchos, but this is made of a really lightweight silk that can make anything in this bag look super fancy and elegant. It's very pretty off the shoulder with a slit there. This is another Eileen Fisher find made of 100% silk weighs nothing. Uh, so these are a little bit more challenging, but you know, if you're handy with a, a sewing machine, you could even make something like this if you found some ultra lightweight material. And then uh, another, a sleeveless top uh, that's kind of long, so this can almost kind of double as a little dress. And a white silk top, again, sleeveless and long, so you could use it as a cover-up even if you went to uh, the swimming pool. So that's all the clothes that I had for the entire trip. Uh, what else is in here? In the back of this same compartment, there is a little slot here, and I decided to use that for my shoes. I brought two pairs of shoes. One is just a, a simple pair of black walking shoes, and the other is a pair of sandals. So only two pairs on this trip, and I felt like that was enough because it was only two weeks long. These are Skechers, and they're very, very comfortable uh, sandals with a nice footbed, but what I like the best is the bottoms because they are like a tennis shoe on the bottom. So I could go hiking in these if I wanted to, but they also look really cute if I was going out to dinner. So nice, comfortable shoes. Uh, and then your choice of walking shoe could be a tennis shoe, could be some, just some sort of slip-on shoe. So that's what's in there. If there's a little pocket here, 
in the back of the backpack. And what I keep in here, instead of putting another packing cube in my bag, what I decided to do was use this existing little pouch as my underwear and socks container. So in here, I've got my underwear. These are that same brand that I've been talking about called On Gossamer. They weigh absolutely nothing. You can order them on Amazon. They also have them at Nordstrom. Uh, what I love about them is that they're this super lightweight mesh. Maybe you can see better here. Almost a completely see-through mesh. You can find other brands like them, but this particular one is lighter than all the others. Uh, I washed these in the hotel room in Petra and went out to dinner, and when I came home, they were dry. I've never seen any kind of pair of underpants do that, not ex officio, none of these other expensive brands. These come in at about uh, between $10 and $15 a pair, but they're an excellent investment uh, to really lighten your load. Uh, as far as bras go, I, bring, uh, I brought three with me. I brought one standard one, one lightweight one, and then one sports bra, but I'm wearing it, so I'm not gonna show it to you. And then in this compartment in the center, I have something you don't need to bring, but just to show you that you could have enough space to put something else in here, uh, I have my audio system. This is a tour guide thing that you don't need to carry, you never would, uh, and it weighs a ton. These are radios so that when I have, I can have a microphone to speak to my whole group and they can hear me anywhere. Um, but this just shows you how this backpack can take quite a bit of weight. I mean, that's a huge amount of stuff. You could bring a whole nother wardrobe in this cube, but I have to bring this as one of the things in my arsenal. And then I have a cookbook in here. This was a gift from my friend Mohammed in Jordan, uh, Jordanian cooking. So you could potentially save this pouch as your souvenir um, section, if you wish. Uh, the last little piece I wanted to show you about this backpack that I like, in the very back, it has a zippered pouch that has a plastic lining. That is supposed to be for wet clothes, but it also can be used for stinky clothes. And that's what I'm using it for. This is my sports bra that is a little funky. So it has been uh, quarantined from the other clothing by being put into this plastic sack at the back. This is a super cool feature. I haven't seen it on a lot of the other bags. And this is why I bought the bag because I really liked that it had um, this in it. Uh, there's lots of other little side pouches you can use. I have in this one here, my backup battery for my phone and my charging cord. Uh, this backpack also comes with a different model that has uh, a plug-in for a phone. I think that's dumb. It's useless. Just bring a backup battery. And then with my day bag, this is one of my mini Tom Ben bags. I think their day bags are the best ones you can find in the business. They last forever. This is over 10 years old and it still looks almost brand new. And why did I choose this one? Uh, well, it's small, which is nice. The front pocket, you can put a bunch of different things like my box of awesome, my glasses, uh, all kinds of random things. Uh, in the main pouch, this is one of my splurge items. You know, we're not all great all the time on packing. Uh, my splurge item, because I had so many flights to get to Egypt and Jordan, I bring these noise canceling headphones from Bose. They are not cheap, but these are the ones you see on every business traveler because they completely drown out the noise of the airplane. I think they're worth their weight in gold. So I know that that's a little surprising that I would bring something this heavy, but it really improves your quality of life on an airplane. My stack of reusable masks. I make these myself. You can find them on my Etsy shop, uh, but one for Egypt, one with just random travel patterns. I bring lots of them. And the one thing to remember is you need a lot of these when you're traveling right now, and you should wash them like their underwear. Once you use them for a day, put it into the washer, wash it in the sink because they get kind of funky over time. So I would say bring at least four or five so you can wash them like with, with your underwear, that sort of thing. And then I have these little attached, uh, kind of attached pouches that have random things in it, cords and things. This has business cards and different kinds of cash. And then my backup pouch here that has my documents, it has my passport and all of my random extra credit cards and backup money and things like that. And then inside here, there's a little pouch in the back, a little flap for my iPad. I'm trying not to bring my, my laptop anymore. I don't know that you need to bring an iPad. If you have an iPhone or a bigger you know, smartphone, you probably don't need to bring this. I bring this so I can do my accounting and you know, use it to show photos and things to my guests. So for me, this is a really nice thing to bring uh, to make my job easier. And then of course, last but, but not least, uh, you need to plug things in 
This is a really cool find. I found this on Amazon. And what it is, is it uh, has the European chargers on the back, which you can use in Egypt and Jordan, and also all throughout Europe. But look on the front, we've got a USB-C. That is what I use to recharge my iPad. A standard USB, I can plug my phone in there, and then I can add something on top if I wish. So this is a really clever thing, again, found on Amazon. And then I do bring backup bags because sometimes I buy extra stuff. Uh, it's a lot of fun when you're traveling to find these shopping bags from local places and then use them at home. This one is from Slovenia. Uh, I bought this in Ljubljana and I just brought this with me because uh, the problem with traveling in North Africa is that people like to put 500 plastic bags on any purchase you make and there's too much plastic in North Africa. So this is my little contribution for when I'm buying souvenirs and things. I bring my own bag, which is all tangled up somehow. It's just a regular little shopping bag and it zips into absolutely nothing. So I really recommend you bring a little shopping bag like this or purchase one so it keeps plastic out of the waste stream wherever it is you go. So there you go, that's all I took with me for two weeks in Egypt and Jordan. Uh, the total weight of this backpack was about 15 pounds. That's because I had to bring that audio system, which was quite expensive. Uh, I did bring home extra things. I brought a little tiny duffel bag, which turned into this bag over here, uh, which is full of a whole bunch of nice uh, goodies. But for the most part, I was footloose and fancy free. So always think about weight. So weigh all of your clothes, all of your different items you're bringing and be really brutal about bringing only what you need. So yet another packing adventure from Adventures with Sarah. More on my website at adventureswithsarah.net. One last thing, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.